Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading uh, for Gemini. What are they not telling you? What are they hiding from you? Uh, for your September 2022, you can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Uh, so we're going to take a look at the person that you're dealing with or the person that's on your mind. We're going to see what this person's not telling you, what they're hiding from you, and then we'll finish off the read to see um, if they will come clean or if you will find out on your own. Apply this to your own unique situation. Switch the roles if you want. Uh, even though this is love focused, this could be with anybody, okay? Uh, what else? Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements if you guys haven't done so yet. Hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, Gemini people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. Uh, if you're looking for a reading specific to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Okay, so um, Gemini, let's get started. Tell me about Gemini here. The person that Gemini is dealing with or the person that Gemini is thinking of? What is this person hiding from Gemini? What is this person not telling Gemini for September 2022 Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs? We have the Magician and then we have the Emperor here, Aries energy. Could be dealing with another Gemini here or Virgo or Aries, okay? You might even have those energies in your chart. Whoever this is, we have an individual that's stepping up to the plate, okay? Um, if this person has been keeping secrets from you, I feel as though this person might come clean here. Yeah, you're getting some sort of communication here from this individual. Uh, Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Eight of Wands here. You're going to be bombarded with a lot of communication here, um, Gemini, okay? One more. In the Queen of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sag. I feel like you're this um, queen here, but you could switch the roles if you want. You could be this emperor trying to, you know, manifest this connection back or having what it takes or trying to step up here to the plate, okay? Um, let's see what else we have. Tell me about the, uh, the magician. We have the King of Swords, the uh, emperor. Okay, um, so the King of Swords. Okay, so there you are right here. Justice, Libra energy here. Yeah, someone here is coming in to communicate some sort of truth here. Okay, Five of Pentacles. And the Moon. You know, I feel like the... I feel like this, I mean, I feel like this person is really missing you a lot or that this person is feeling lonely without you or that this person fears that they will lose you if you don't speak up here, okay? So I feel like there's an energy of right now, you know, this person did hold back, but uh, I feel like at this point they have nothing to lose. Tell me about this uh, high priestess, six of cups. It seems like you've known this person for a long time. Could be a situation that you guys started off as friends and then you guys de de developed feelings for each other. This also could be indication that it's a past life connection, okay? Knight of Swords, or that you guys are separated. Uh, more so past life with the Wheel of Fortune here. So I feel like there is unfinished business here from the past life. Yeah, where you guys are coming together again. And whatever happened in the past life, it's occurring again in this life. Eight of Wands here. Look at the Page of Cups. Queen of Wands and the Hangman. Piscean energy. I mean, you're getting communication about this person's feelings towards you, but I feel like with the Hangman here, you, you might have taken a step back, okay? You might be in this energy of sort of like, you know what, I'm good on my own here. I'm enjoying my freedom. We have the Emperor to the Empress. This is a true pair. Let's see what else we have. Will this person come clean towards Gemini? Or will Gemini find out? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for September 2022. Okay, we have the Ten of Wands. We have the Hierophant. Taurus energy here. Hmm. 
I don't know, I feel like this person's carrying around a lot of burdens, carrying around a lot of pain with them. But I feel like this person's really trying to overcome it, still trying to weigh in the pros and the cons, whether to come forward or not. Tell, let's see. With the Ace of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. So Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I mean, there's a lot of passion here. There's a lot of attraction. There's a lot of emotions here, too, and feelings. You know, I, I feel like, you know, uh, Gemini, you could be in this energy of, you know what, I'm just going to let my person do what he has to do, and I'm just going to do my own thing and just manifest here, you know, and attract. Uh, Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We have the Four of Cups. And a Six of Pentacles. I don't know. I feel like eventually you might start wanting more or looking for more here. And I just feel like regarding this connection, there's a lack of equal give and take. I don't know if someone here gets bored easily. I don't know if someone here is also feeling like they're, they 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 want to look for something else here. Um, but I do feel like with the Four of Cups and the Six of Pentacles, like your person might take the opportunity to really spill the beans here. Ten of Wands. Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. There's a part of themselves that they really haven't shared with you yet. It's all their dark side, their traumas, the pains, their burdens. I just feel like they don't want to share that. I feel like they're really embarrassed about it. I just feel like you don't really know this person, Gemini. Uh, the Hierophant here and the Ten of Swords. We have someone here that's gone through a lot of pain here, gone through a lot of suffering. You know, it could be a situation that, you know, this is an individual that, you know, is, you know, projecting all of this onto you. Tell me about this uh, Ace of Wands here. We have the Three of Swords. You know, I feel like we have someone here that's really closed off when it comes to their heart space, when it comes to opening themselves up to new love or love in general. Queen of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Pentacles here and judgment so the eight of pentacles and judgment sagittarius energy here you know i feel like you're going to come to a realization here like gemini you're putting in too much effort here and i do see that you will take a step back um tell me about the four of cups you know it could be a situation that this person's not really seeing their blessings yet okay you know even though this person's coming in to tell you the truth i feel like this person's still going to tr struggle opening up to you because it might have taken a long time for this person to realize that, you know what, I want to sit down and have a conversation with Gemini here and talk to them and tell them how I feel. Three of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, and the Eight of Cups. I just feel like we have someone here that just can't really emotionally invest and work with you here. We have someone here that's definitely doing some a lot of, a lot of inner work here, doing some soul searching. I mean, they want to tell you the truth. You know, if they don't tell you the truth, the universe is going to reveal the truth to you. That's what I feel here, especially with the Wheel of Fortune being here. Okay, so um, so Gemini, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe hit the notification bell and I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right. Thanks guys. Bye.